I'm about to install Windows 10 on my late 2011 MacBook Pro. It's running El Capitan, and there have been a few changes in the bootcamp software. In order to do this, we're gonna need a couple of uh, other materials. I've got a four gigabyte USB flash drive right here. It takes about a gig and a half uh, for the downloaded files for bootcamp. So keep that in mind. You don't need one that's quite that big. And then I've also got a DVD plus R right here. You can also get DVD dash R and the reason that I chose plus in this case is because apparently it has better defect management. Uh, it can format in the background so it doesn't require that secondary step before you eject. And you can also set the book type on these type of uh, media so that it can be read as a DVD-ROM, which might be compatible with some of the older players. Uh, since I had to buy a whole stack of these, I just went with the plus because I felt like um, it might be useful for other projects. Okay, so the first step is to insert that USB thumb drive. It's gonna pop up on the desktop here, and I'm gonna use the spotlight search to find disk utility. You can see it automatically recognizing the program. Go ahead and launch that. Now we need to format the USB thumb drive appropriately so that Windows can also recognize it. So we need to go in here and choose MS-DOS FAT, and then the scheme needs to be master boot record. Make sure you get that scheme part right because it's not mentioned in the boot camp utility and I found that I couldn't get it to work without doing that. So here I'm doing a quick search for Bootcamp Assistant, launching this, kind of reading the instructions briefly and saying continue. Before we can install anything, I need to download these special drivers. So that's what I'm doing here. It recognizes my USB, and it's going to start downloading these. Um, these are the files that are going to allow the hardware on your laptop to be recognized by Windows. And I'm going to do a quick get info here and they're about 1.5 gigabytes, as mentioned earlier. So I think a, a two gigabyte thumb drive could work for this. But again, every computer is different and those files are different. So the next thing you need is a copy of Windows 10. I'm gonna go ahead and pick the first version here. I'm downloading the ISO. You might have uh, a physical copy, but I chose to download it. And I noticed there were a couple of choices. There's N and KN, and that stands for European and Korean. Basically, there was an anti-competitive ruling in 2004 by the European Commission that said, hey, you can't bundle Windows Media Player, Music, Voice, and Skype. Uh, it's anti-competitive. So anyway, there's the ISO. I right-clicked it, and I'm going to say, let's burn disk image. So we're creating basically an image here on that DVD plus RW or minus RW. Again, either one would work, and that's what we're going to install Windows from later. So now I'm back in boot camp. Following the instructions, I'm determining how much of my hard drive I want to allocate to Windows. That's completely up to you. I think I chose 64 gigabytes so I could download a lot of games. But there's one other important step, and that is as the machine reboots, you're following boot camp, it's going to show you this partition you created, and you need to click on Advanced Options and then Format. You need to format it again in this step when you're installing Windows. If you don't do that, um, I, I don't think it'll work. It won't let you. And that's also in the boot camp instructions guide. So this is all stuff you can kind of figure out. But I wanted to cover the, the more tricky aspects that hung me up that took extra time. And I've really enjoyed Windows 10. It runs great. Again, even on a late 2011 MacBook Pro, I'm able to run Steam, a bunch of different video games, and enjoy the full processing power that, that my hardware would offer. If you were trying to do this, play games through something like Windows Parallel, you know, if you think about that, if you aren't sure what that is, you've never heard of it before. It's a program that lets you run Windows from within Mac OS X. So if you think about that, you're running two operating systems, and that's just kind of a waste of processing power. So it's better to tap into it raw and install Windows using Boot Camp as, as we've done here and fully leverage your hardware. So the other quick tip I wanted to share is that now when Boot Camp's installed, anytime you're starting your computer, you can hold down the Alt or Option key. Again, Alt or option, it's kind of the same key, but it's got two labels. And this will allow you to choose the partition to boot from. So one will be for uh, OS X and the other will be for Windows. And once you're in either of those systems, you can set it up to, to default. So it can default to Windows every time unless you hold Alt and the option key, or it can default to uh, OS X. So that's pretty cool. It's a very neat system that Apple has designed here. I really appreciate it. And I wish you luck getting it to work uh, for you. And I do realize that now with sort of the Retina MacBooks and, and some of the other laptops that don't have DVD writers or readers, you might need an external uh, DVD player for this. You might need the external drive that, that Apple offers. 
I've seen some people working with um, larger USB thumbsticks to get this to work, but I found that in El Capitan, it no longer gave you the option to um, create a drive using a thumb drive to create like an, an installation disk. That's why we had to do the DVD plus RW earlier and I had to, to right click and create that, that ISO, that disk image. So um, maybe people can kind of help out and chime in on, on that side. I don't have that particular type of MacBook. I imagine the installation would be fairly similar and again choosing the, the FAT uh, install type it would probably be important along with the MVR master boot record um, scheme. So good luck and I will try to help you out in the comments if I can and there may be others who can chime in as well.